Привет, hello and bonjour and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we are unboxing the November Glossy Box. It's already November, what's going on? We got it quite early this month. Usually I've been getting it towards the second half slash end of the month. The theme is Beauty Desires and I'm quite curious to see this month's box because I haven't seen a lot of spoilers and they've been kind of not the best lately. So let's just dive right in. All right, opening the box. As usual, we are greeted with our little booklet. They've been really doing it the old school kind of way where they make it look almost like a magazine. They even called it Glossy Magazine. All right, so this is what it looks like inside. We've got five items, I'm curious. Actually, I do know one item, which I'll take out first because I'm the most excited about it. There was a sneak peek about it. Here we have the Bite Size Eyeshadow from e.l.f. and I have the shade Berry Bad. So it's four shades. It's actually quite lovely. We get a bit of a two shimmery, one more bronzy copper, one more berry toned. A lovely, lovely nude and then a deep brown. I love e.l.f. how much they've grown as a company. I remember them being really like just affordable and now they have really amazing products. And they've decreased their packaging by, I want to say, like 90% or something. They had an initiative. So this is literally the whole packaging, this little plastic tab that they hang everything up on. So no more paper, no more plastic, which is excellent. This, despite being itty bitty, is full size and it's worth four euro. Ah, you know, I knew I was going to get this and I was thinking maybe I'd gift it, but I don't have anything from e.l.f. right now and I really do like them and I know these are super popular. So that's a really great start for me. Next, I'll take out this item because it's not like anything I've seen before before and it says commodity paper scent space personal for me and the few I allow close so I guess it's a perfume yeah this is a deluxe size five millimeter five millimeter five milliliter perfume and it's worth $14.93 at this size it's just this little spray it actually smells incredibly lovely very very comforting very at home, alone, nothing like too strong or violent on the nose like florals or sugar. Just a really truly comforting smell. Now, would I pay $14.93 for this little guy? Probably not, but I'm curious to see how it wears and if I do like it, I would be interested in possibly purchasing it. We'll see. All right, next we got this guy. This is by the brand Now Bay. So we get a unpolluted detox energizing facial mist Toner. So now it's a pretty good brand. We've gotten it a few times. This again is a deluxe size. It's quite affordable the brand It smells really nice almost medicinal like medicinal herbs if you know what I mean, and it's lovely. I mm, I guess I, I would use it. Oh, oh, I spilled it everywhere, <laughs> but it smells really good. I've, I've really been liking a face mist lately. You will have seen, oh, actually you wouldn't have seen, I haven't uploaded yet, but we got a big, big face mist in the Glossy Box Advent Calendar and I've been using that nonstop. So I'm actually quite a fan of these guys. So it's worth two euro 70, which is a really great price. Do I need it? Maybe, maybe not, but that's actually quite not bad. So let's proceed. Okay, two items left. I'm going to take out this one because it looks quite, oh, it's caught. It looks quite cool. This is by the brand Mira and this is the Better Hair Symphony Christmas Edition. So we get a hair oil that has sweet orange and cinnamon for the length and the points of hair. Now, it's a glass jar. It's nice. This is a full-size product worth $14.95. It smells quite lovely. I do have a few hair oils already, so I'm not sure I need this. Perhaps I might gift it. But overall, a really nice item to include, especially over kind of deluxe samples of shampoo and conditioner this will actually last you a really really long time yeah I guess I, maybe I just feel like I don't need it so much but it is really lovely and I like that it's scented a little bit more towards the holiday season that really makes it that little bit more unique all right and last but hopefully not least we got this cute little box it reminds me a little bit of Colourpop the packaging this is the brand Saint Lux and it is a setting spray it is full size worth 20 euro 68 I'm a little confused on um, getting two sprays in one box. I will say I know this is like a toner spray and this is a setting spray It's plastic. It, it, it does look a little bit color pop But I'd say even more so on the cheap side. It kind of looks like kids packaging to me I mean the price tag makes it seem like it's it's a big deal and I guess the name too, but it does smell really, really lovely. A little bit like coconut and vanilla, maybe more so vanilla, but it looks so much to me kind of like I don't know, kids, teenager makeup packaging, which isn't to say that it's necessarily bad, but I think I'm starting slowly to move towards kind of nicer products. So we'll see. I mean, I should give it a go, but yeah, that's, that's that one. And that's our product number five. So let's dive into my 
final thoughts. All right, so what do we think about the November glossy box? I'm gonna be honest, at first glance, I was kind of disappointed in the box, but now that I'm looking at it, I feel more so like it's products that I would actually use, which might be more valuable than getting really unique, strange products. The biggest downside, I'd say for me, is that we get two face sprays. That's a bit much for one box of five items. I understand they're a little bit different, like I mentioned, but still a bit unnecessary, so I might gift the setting spray. I don't use them terribly much and I have a couple saved up so I might just keep using the ones that I have. The hair oil, I'm sure it's really lovely. I have hair oils and I have hair oil so we'll call it I trust. So I'd have to have a think about it if I want to give that a shot but it's it's one of those things where it's like would it be worth it to keep or is it better off being gifted to someone else or maybe I can add this to my giveaway when I hit a thousand subscribers. Hopefully soon, but we'll see. I'm actually quite pleasantly surprised about the scent. I think it's really, really lovely and quite up my alley for an everyday kind of signature scent. Not necessarily like I mentioned the higher end, like floral or sweet or musky. It's just a lovely, neutral, comfortable smell, which I really, really like. And the e.l.f. Bite Size Shadows. I mean, this is great. Obviously it's affordable and on the affordable end, but their quality really has gone up. It's a lovely little color palette and I could really see myself using it. It's, it is that point for me where it's like, okay, Okay, will you actually use it and use it enough to justify using it or should you gift it because as we all know and I mentioned I have a lot of makeup now and I'm trying my best to kind of sort through it and be more conscious as conscious as I can with purchasing so I do really want to test it just because it's elf and I, I don't have an elf shadow right now but this is probably the star of this box for me so yeah all in all this box I definitely say is an improvement over the last couple of months they've just been a bit meh even here I don't feel like it's necessary on theme of beauty desires I, it's it's a bit it feels a bit more random the boxes lately rather than curated as they were in the past so that's still something I'm not crazy about as I mentioned before I'm gonna keep my subscription till the end of December and then basically make uh, an, an informed decision hopefully about whether or not I proceed but at this point I feel like I'm just kind of throwing money to the wind it's a lovely box but perhaps I would be better off using that money for my subscription boxes buying one single item that I really love a month rather than all of these kind of random bits and pieces I'm just I feel like I'm a little bit past that point in my makeup life but it is still a really fun item to get quite happy with this box so for this month it gets a thumbs up all right, you guys, thank you so, so much for watching this video. Hopefully it was fun and entertaining for you. If you haven't already, definitely leave me a thumbs up and leave your thoughts down below, especially if you got a glossy box in another part of the world. I'm in France. I should have said that at the start. So this is the French European one, and it's quite similar, but still differs from the UK one. If you like my video as well, do please subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers before the end of the year, and I would really appreciate having you on this journey with me. I will be doing a giveaway at a thousand subs, so hold on. <laughs> Other than that, you can catch me on social media at Slavic Chic. I have Instagram, I have a TikTok that I don't use very much, and I have Twitch, which is Slavic Chic Gaming. So if you want to watch me do some gaming, I suppose, <laughs> check me out there. All right, you guys, thanks again for watching, and hopefully I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.